hello my lovely viewers welcome back to our channel watch this video here's me climbing a ladder this is this is work had to go find a a used tire up top this is where we store them can't always ask everybody else to go to oh oh suck it in suck it in. okay i got it <laughs> now uh, luckily i didn't have to uh, actually climb up on the stacks to get this tire uh i could actually reach it <laughs> sometimes i gotta climb up on top i don't know what's impossible i do the impossible every day not having legs is actually a benefit in a lot of situations. In work, it's actually really handy. Uh, getting under cars, getting up inside of, of a certain vehicle. I can work on a brake job or whatever I need right there on the ground. So it, it kind of is a benefit not having legs. It's always funny to especially pull pranks on the customers um, to be working under a car and then have them come out and come out from under the car and you see their eyes get really big. <laughs> oh, I wasn't wasn't expecting that. What's going on? Anytime there's a customer really going off, they say, let me let me grab who worked on the car and then, and then they'll bring me up. And it's really hard for a customer to yell at the guy without legs. <laughs> The truck grabbed my legs and rolled me beneath the, the wheels of that semi truck. When the truck stopped, I was missing my left leg. It was completely gone. And my right leg was so beaten up that eventually they had to remove it. The doctors told my parents that if they, if they did things for me, if they treated me like an invalid, then I will never be able to do anything on my own. And so instead of treating me like an invalid, my parents uh, helped me figure out how to do whatever I wanted to do. In fact, my dad always said, can't never did anything and won't never will. Can't never was a word that was acceptable in our house. I can't do it. No, no, that's not how it works. You can do it. You just have to figure out a way to make it happen. There's so many little adaptations that I use, uh, you know, a longer lever to push down on a bar or heck, just get stronger so I can do what, what it, it helps having legs for. Well, I like to call it my booty because because it's on my, my it's on my butt. It's my boot that's on my butt. So I call it my booty. I mean, it's something you can't buy in a store. It's something that I've just had to build over the years. For me, when people say, why, why are you even working? You should get money, you know, disability money. I'm like, why, why would I want that? One, I'm not disabled. <laughs> There's nothing disabled about me. That, that would indicate that I can't do something. And I can work as much, if not more, than anybody else. So when people look at disabilities as you can't work, I look at disabilities, okay, let's figure out how you can work. I haven't uh, done any kickboxing yet. I think kickboxing would be pretty tough. <laughs> it's never been a problem not having legs. I do absolutely everything that anybody else does uh, with legs. <laughs> 